Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Okay, today I wanted to take a look at the 2020 Tacoma SR5 versus the 2020 Tacoma TRD Off-Road. Now, what I'm doing here, I wanted to compare just the base. You know, what you can get for that MSR piece at the baseline level for each one of those, or both of those, trim levels on the Tacoma. You know, recently I was thinking, you know, when I got the TRD Sport, it's, uh, it's actually sitting right up there, that maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should have gotten the off-road to begin with in a manual transmission as a 4x4. So I thought it would be interesting to compare what do you get on a baseline level for that listed MSRP price for each one of the, or the two options, I guess. So let's get started. First of all, the starting MSRP for the SR5 is $27,825. The starting MSRP for the Tacoma TRD Off-Road is $34,000. Now that's a difference of $6,175. Now, that's a lot of extra or aftermarket parts that you can get, right? I mean, you could do a lift, wheels and tires, add some extra things so there's a little bit more wiggle room in there you know for that extra six thousand one hundred and seventy five dollars that you spend for the off-road fuel economy wise let's mention that real quick the sr5 gets 20 and 23 and the off-road the trd off-road gets 19 and 24. not a huge difference so what trim levels or what do you get for that starting msrp price well, on the SR5, it's a 4x2 access cab with a 6-foot bed. On the TRD Off-Road, it's a 4x2 four by, four by double cab with a 5-foot short bed. Now, the SR5 has a 4-cylinder, 6-speed, automatic transmission. The 4x2 double cab is a 5-foot, I'm sorry, is a 6-cylinder rather, 6-speed with an automatic transmission. So you get a few more cylinders two uh, if you go with the TRD off-road. Now, some of the other differences between the two. There's no power outlet in the bed on this starting price SR5. The TRD off-road has a 120 volt 400 watt deck mounted AC power outlet. So if you're a camper and that thing's important to you, eh, you do get it in the TRD off-road. The SR5 comes with steel wheels Whereas the TRD Off-Road has alloy wheels, you know, those kind of fancier wheels with a little bit of brushed aluminum in them. There's no wireless charger in the SR5. Again, this is the base level without adding any options to it. There is a standard wireless charging pad in the TRD Off-Road. Now this is kind of interesting because I thought this was going to be standard across the board, but it's not. And this has to deal with the driver's front seat. In the SR5, you still get the four-way adjustable driver's seat with lumbar. Now that's what I have in the, in the Sport up there. In the TRD Off-Road, and this is 2020, you now get the 10-way power adjustable driver's seat with lumbar. That is standard. Uh, let's see, remote keyless entry in the SR5. Whereas in the TRD Off-Road, again, the automatic base level model, you get the smart key system with the push button start. That also includes the little touch feature on both the driver's side and the passenger side doors where you can just walk up and touch the, uh, the door handle and it unlocks the truck. Pretty handy feature, I think. Something that uh, I may miss not having on my manual, but you got to give up some things these days to get what you want, and for me, that's that's one. Um, let's see. The SR5 has manual a manual dimming rear view mirror. Now, what is that? That's where the mirror doesn't adjust itself if there are headlights shining on it from the rear. The off-road TRD version has the auto dimming rear view mirror. Now, these next three options are only in the TRD off-road. Electronically controlled rear locking differential. You don't get that in the SR5. Class four towing hitch receiver. Again, not available in this standard SR5. 
TRD tuned off-road suspension with Fox coilovers and shocks. Again, not available standard on the SR5. What about bed links? You know, a lot of people talk about wanting to have the longer beds, right? Me personally, I don't have a problem with the shorter bed, but in the SR5, and this is with the access cab, you get a 73.7 inch long bed. Whereas in the TRD off-road, the short bed, it's 60.5 inches long. Same thing that I have in the sport up there. Uh, differential ratio. A lot of people talk about re-gearing, you know, changing that ratio to something different to have a little bit different feel or power in the truck. The SR5 comes with the 4.30 differential ratio and the TRD off-road comes with a 3.909. All right, what about weights and all that kind of stuff? Well, the SR5 is a little bit lighter. It weighs 3,915 pounds, whereas the TRD off-road comes in at 4,205 pounds. Keeping in mind, it is the double cab and it does have some of the heavier suspension parts and things like that on it. That's a difference of 290 pounds. So the TRD off-road, if it matters, is 290 pounds heavier. Payload capacity. The payload capacity in the SR5 is 1,685 pounds and reduced by 290 pounds because it's heavier, it's at 1,395 pounds in the TRD off-road. Now this is interesting, sort of, um, and I think it's because if I recall, the access cab has the jump seats in the rear, but the SR5 seats four. And again, that would make sense because you'd have two in the front and two on each side, those jump seats that fold up and down, which by the way, are horribly uncomfortable. I actually had an access cab uh, Tacoma a few years back. And I rode back there one time and it, it's like a board that folds out from the side of the truck. It's absolutely horrible. There's no way that you'd want to ride any distance back there or have a passenger ride back there. I mean, maybe a small child or something would be okay, maybe, but it's horribly uncomfortable. A anyway, the TRD double cab, the TRD off-road, seats five. You got three in the back and two in the front. Next up, towing capacity, and this is rather shocking to me. There is a huge difference. The towing capacity of the SR5, and again, this is the access cab, 3,500 pounds. Not much, you're talking about maybe a trailer and a jet ski or two, you know, something like that. Whereas in the TRD off-road, the double cab, 6,700 pounds, a difference of 3,000 pounds. 200 pounds to me that is uh that's amazing i can't believe there's that much of a spread between the two trucks now keeping in mind that the trd off-road does have the v6 in it so it is a six-cylinder motor i guess if you look at that as compared to the four-cylinder that would be standard in that access cab or the sr5 access cab it would make a little more sense because that six cylinder is going to have more oomph to it, right? It's going to be able to handle more. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to go through here and hit the main points. You know, we didn't talk about, you know, seat color or, you know, windshield wiper misting or that kind of stuff. You know, those are all little things. I just kind of wanted to hit the main points, the big differences between the SR5 access cab and the TRD off-road double cab. And again, looking at the base price trim line and what you get for that. Obviously, if you add more features and more options to it, uh, it's gonna come up higher. I believe if you go with a four x four in the access cab, you're now pushing uh, somewhere around 35,000, something like that. So you're actually over the base price of the TRD off-road double cab, somewhere in that neighborhood. Anyway, I'm curious to hear what you guys think. If you're looking at the two, is it really worth it to even get an access cab anymore for what you get in addition on the TRD off-road? You know, the 4x4, well, it's not a 4x4, but rather the extra towing capacities and all that stuff. 
Is it worth it to get an access cab when for $6,175 more, you get the little few extra things, I guess, that come with the TRD off-road? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, as far as I'm concerned, I think I've made the right decision this time. I think the 2020 TRD off-road in a manual transmission with the 4x4 that I have on order is going to be perfect for me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.